I'm going to be comparing the Umarex Gauntlet and the Air Venturi, both 22 calibers. And in this video, I'm going to be comparing some specifications to each other, similarities and differences, and give you guys some accuracy results at 50 yards and also tell you my final thoughts on each rifle. I've owned the Gauntlet for almost three years now, and I just recently acquired the Avenger. So this is going to be an awesome video guys. So I'm going to first start off with the similarities of the Gauntlet and the Avenger. So again, both of these are 22 caliber rifles. They both share the same probe tip and probe with the dual O-ring system from the factory. They have shrouds on the barrels. Come in synthetic stocks, regulated. They both have swivel studs for a sling or bipod style mount. There is no sights on these rifles. You would have to add an optic by either a Picatinny or only on the gauntlet has a dovetail system. So now that I talked a little bit about the similarities of each of these rifles, let's get into the biggest differences and in my eyes from a PCP air gunner for the past three years, a lot of these will make sense for shooters getting into the PCP world. You'll see what I'm talking about and for the ones that have been doing it for years, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So first up is the weight. The Umarex Gauntlet weighs 9 pounds out of the box with no optic on it. That's a hefty rifle. And as you can see, it's got a bottle on it. Whereas the Air Venturi Venger weighs 6 pounds out of the box and it has an air cylinder. Now, again, back on the Umarex Gauntlet's bottle, it has a 3000 PSI fill and regulated at 1150 PSI. Whereas the Air Venturi has a 180 cc air reservoir, is rated at 4,350 PSI with an adjustable regulator. Out of the box, mine was set at 1,800 PSI and it could be modified by just turning a screw. Whereas the Umarex Gauntlet, you have to tear down the bottle and mess with the bonnet and change all kinds of stuff to get it to power up even more. So. Umarex Gauntlet, non-adjustable power, Air Venturi, adjustable power. And the Umarex Gauntlet bottle is 213 cc's to fill. So, if you hand pump, the Gauntlet would probably be the best option because the regulator is set so low at 1150 psi, whereas you would have to hand pump to 1800 psi just to get on the regulator for the Air Venturi. The Umarex Gauntlet does not have a bar barrel band. The Air Venturi does. The Umarex Gauntlet comes with the shroud and baffle system inside the shroud on top of the barrel. The Air Venturi does not. Even though they both sound pretty identical on camera, they're not. one is not that much louder than the other, believe it or not. Now that I went through the similarities and differences, guys, that really stand out, I believe, for hand pumpers and if you have an air compressor, that really doesn't matter. But the point is, you know, higher pressure on the reg versus a lower pressure on the reg. It is what it is. Now, this portion of the video, I want to show you what I got with these two rifles at 50 yards. Shooting five shots through the Karm Umarex style Marauder magazine. They both share the same magazine. The Umarex Gauntlet, I am using the 1435 JSB Jumbo Express. And in the Air Venturi Avenger, I'm using the FX 15.9 grain JSB pellets. Again, 50 yards, five shots through the Karm magazine. Check it out. So here's the gauntlet in 22 caliber at 
50 yards. I have the Pinty 3 to 9 by 32 scope on there using the Carm Marauder style Umarex Gauntlet Air Venturi Avenger magazine and using the JSB Exact Jumbo Express 14.35 grain. Target is at 50 yards. Let's see how well this is dialed in. Haven't had this in a while out off the bags here as you can see I got my tech driver bag unsupported in the rear so we'll see how good this thing shoots and the line down there on the shoot and see target is for my horizontal zero so every shot I'm taking I'm aiming at that line above the bullseye for holdover and then making sure that I am horizontally zero Ooh, those are a little low and to the left. Right there. Nine power scope. Wow, they're all right there. It's not a bad group. Unsupported through this little scope. I'll take that. All right, up next is the Air Venturi Avenger. Got a three by nine power scope on it also making it fair as much as possible using the same CARM magazine 22 caliber with the FX 15.89 grain JSB pellets again 50 yards you can see the previous shot from the Umarex gauntlet let's see what this thing can do unsupported rear off the tack driver bag again Aiming at the line at the top of the bullseye. A little low, it's all right. Well guys, there you have it. Uh, truthfully, I cannot tell the difference. 
you know, the Air Venturi here is shooting the most optimized pellet, uh, unstable here off the bag, not with the support bag on the rear. Uh, comparing it to the gauntlet, you can see it down there. The grouping of five shots at 50 yards looks identical through both of these three to nine power scopes. That is awesome. Well, as you can see there, not much of a difference at 50 yards. Unsupported rest, using the same power scope, a nine power scope, 14.35 out of the Gauntlet, and 15.89 out of the Avenger. And these groups are identical. They can be covered with a quarter. And I know we can get better than this, I can shoot better than this too. But I just want to show you an average and that these guns are so similar, you know, they're, they're alike basically. The only true difference is, is the extras that the Avenger offers for tuners. So here is my final thoughts on these two rifles. Is it one really better than the other one? Not really my eyes, they both offer something special and something different. Again, the Umarex has its own air bottle on there. So if you bought and stocked up on air bottles and the regulator is set at 1150 PSI, you know, this is for hand pumpers mostly. This gun would not, this Air Venturi Avenger would not be great for hand pumpers. Again, if you have an air compressor, not that big of an issue. But what's nice about these two is they both use the same magazine. Other than that, a little bit of difference on the trigger. The Umarex has a single stage QB trigger and the Air Venturi has a dual stage adjustable trigger. They're both adjustable, but one's a dual stage and one's a single stage. Not that big of a difference in my eyes, but I just wanted to let you know that. So again, I hope you enjoyed this head to head comparison. One may suit you better than the other one, but you know, heavy versus non adjustable and regulated at a lower pressure, lighter, more adjustable, and requires more air to fill. So there you have it. To me, these are the two most comparable items out there on the market, especially for running around the $300 price point. I know right now people are leaning more towards the Air Venturi Avenger than the Gauntlet, but when the Gauntlet came out, it was the best thing that hit the market. So if they both came out at the same time, I'm sure one of these two, it would still be pretty equal in my eyes. But that's just coming from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video as always. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you like the video and subscribe if you haven't already.